for parents who come here, um, they're always in a pretty high risk situation from their own point of view. They're in danger of losing their babies or young children. Um, many of them will have lost children in the past. Uh, they feel very judged, very criticised um, and very unsafe. I think that working with other parents and getting to know other parents so that they actually form a community, I hate that word, but they do form, they form a kind of peer group, um, they start to feel a bit safer. The way this unit works is all about attachment. And what we're asking parents to do, parents who've all got attachment difficulties of their own, is to form an attachment to this group as well as to the staff. Sometimes asking parents to form an attachment to one clinician is too much for them actually. Uh, so that in a sense what they're doing is forming a group of their own within which they can start to think about themselves and the way that they respond. So the big issues that they're working on here really, in terms of their own functioning, are their ability to manage their emotional states and their ability to form close interpersonal relationships. And those things, it really helps them to be working with other parents who can a bit tell them what they're like. To me, that's the real central purpose of working in a multifamily way. We won't share personal stuff with other families about what's going on, but we encourage them to do it. So using the groups or multifamily time, we would encourage those families to talk to each other about what they're going through, the processes, what's happening for them, um, so that they can gain support from each other. But they can also, those that have been here longer, be saying to the new families, actually, you know, stick this out because this happened to me. I hated all my social workers. I thought everyone was rubbish, but actually now I can see my part in that. We're all in the same boat, so they all know what you're going through. Where my previous friends didn't have social services, they didn't have drink problem, so they didn't know what I was going through. So to them it was just, oh, you're making it up. But here, people, the parents know what you're going through and they don't stab you in the back. But everyone, everyone was in the whole unit was supportive. But then the, the parents I was with at the time, they were very supportive. And we used to help out, we could help each other out basically. We look after each other. They, they went to go make something to eat in the kitchen. We'd look after their kids, vice versa. It was quite tight. <laughs>